What's up, guys? The new Batman starring Robert Pattinson and Zoe Kravitz. We have not seen it yet. It's yet to come out. So we're still giving y'all Bat Week. I am Monty Mont. Yeah, it's your boy Q. Hi, I'm Mrs. Ronaldus. Hey, hey, y'all see we got a newbie in the house. You are used to Ronaldus and his wealth of knowledge, but the missus is here representing and we love it. We love it, we love it. That's how you build a happy home. <laughs> so guys, we are giving you Bat Week all week. We have been giving y'all show after show after show. I think this is the fourth or fifth show. There's more coming, we're leading up to the premiere of the new Batman. But since it's not here yet, man, we got a lot to talk about. So today we are talking about the best Bat villain in history. Who is our favorite Bat villain? And let me tell y'all, Batman himself has probably got more singular villains. And, and I mean, I got to let me go through this right. The Joker, the Riddler, the Penguin, Two Face, Mr. Freeze, Bane, Scarecrow, Raise Al Ghul, Catwoman, Poison Ivy, uh, Harley Quinn, Killer Croc, uh, Man Bat, Clayface, Hush, Deathstroke, Firefly. I mean, just a can of plenty to choose from. All right. So it ain't no. It ain't no 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 worry about having content for Batman because I mean he's been doing this again. We talk about and here's the thing: you can do movie, you can do animated. You know what I'm saying? You can do TV show. You want to go old school with Adam West back in the day, and so yeah. and that's why if you pick, if the Joker comes up or Two Face, you gotta say which one because you just can't say the Joker. You gotta say specifically which one. All right, so that's how we're gonna do it. We'll start off. Um, with our special guest, give us one. We're going to give you all two. Okay, we're going to give you all two in case we got an overlap. So give us one of, you can make it say it. If you say it, say it's your first or your second choice, but give us one of your villains against Batman. You're one of your favorite villains. Go ahead. So mine would be, my first one would be the Joker, the one that was played by um, when he had his own movie. Um, the last one. You talking about Heath Ledger? No, yes. that's not him. Yes, Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. He played the Joker. Okay. Now, that would be, to me, the best villain, because he was just pure crazy. <laughs> if you, hands down, if you look at his backstory, he was just, if you if you local from Lansing, he was St. Lawrence, fourth floor. <laughs> I know you didn't. <laughs> St. Lawrence, fourth floor. Yo, now, okay, <clears throat> he's on my list as well. All right, wow. um, <clears throat> Heath Ledger. I can't, come on, don't don't look like that. I mean, no, 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 really, he no, won no. the Oscar for this, <clears throat> which was unheard of for a superhero movie. First of all, even be nominated for an Oscar, he won the Oscar. But just some of my favorite parts. Now we talked about this. We broke down the Dark Knight on the last episode, but like when he. He just the face paint and the like permanent the, face paint. The, yeah, the permanent, the tall. For you to do that to yourself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then like, there's so many iconic scenes in that movie where he is just, you know, what I my favorite one of my favorite parts of that movie is. Remember, he got locked up in the MCU, and then uh, he put the phone in the guy's stomach, and the, and then, and it blows up right, yeah. and so then. He's holding one of the cops hostage. He's like, I want my phone call. That's how I blew up. And then, but it's like when he gets out, he's in the cop car and he's got his head off the window and he's just driving through the streets. I'm like, bro, this dude. It's crazy. He is, he's just on another he's level. very crazy. Yeah, he's on another level with it. Like he just, I can't even explain it. Like I, and the thing was when they said it was going to be Heath Ledger for the Joker, I was like, I'm like Heath Ledger, man. Cause he hadn't really done much that I was, I mean, I've seen him in a couple of things, but I was like, mm -hmm. I don't know, but man, he, he knocked it off. He out. rocks that. Yes. I he had to like watch it. Away. I had to turn it off and go back and watch it. Cause he was just too crazy. Yeah. It was, he was scary <laughs> crazy. He, you know, he was, and, but the crazy part was like, he kind of had some principle because he didn't like the mobsters and the other gangsters. He was just like, y'all not the kind of criminal this city needs. <laughs> he like said, he's like, 
So y'all are so nickel dime. He's like, I'm gonna show y'all what being a real criminal is like. What a real thug is. Yes, yes. Like he put the hit out on Batman. Like I want Batman to take off his mat, all that stuff. Like I like the part where he remember the guy was gonna uh rat, he was gonna rat Batman out. He's like, I know who Batman really is. So the Joker called up, like, listen, if y'all don't kill this man, <laughs> if you don't kill this uh Coleman Reese in an hour, I'm gonna blow up a hospital. So Cass, I mean, he just was he crazy. Was crazy. Okay, so Johnny Q, you kind of got some disdain on your face. So obviously, no. I listen, mean, listen. he's not in one of your top two. So give us who is in one of your top two for villains since you. I not- mean, first, I wanna I wanna give Heath Ledger his props. He gave his life to that role. Amazing movie, absolutely. He made the movie. Oh, I am did. not denying that. Great, amazing movie. But as in, when you first told me about this, as an overall character, I'm thinking story art, character development, powers, abilities. Yeah. My best uh, Batman villain would have to be the Penguin. It would have. It would have to be him, man. Oswald Chesterfield. I can't even say his last name. Pump or something random, but he's. That hey, one of the best because he has one of the best story arcs, has the best character development. It's just and he's doesn't he's not even has any superpowers. He's just a really good mobster. Like he's just great at what he does. He's extremely. Well, what's up? For the record, Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot. Cobblepot. There we Cobblepot. go. Couldn't say the last name. Cobblepot. Yeah. He uh, hands down one of the best because. Even Batman said in a comic book that he's so intelligent that he might even be smarter than him. The very first comic book that he was in, the Penguin uh, comic book, was they want to say Batman 158 in 1990, no, 1949. There you go. He they didn't even catch the penguin. The penguin got away and framed Batman for all of his crimes. Are you kidding me? And Batman had to convince, had to get evidence. Batman and Robin had to convince the police that they didn't do this. That is astonishing to me and um tim drake um the fourth robin if i'm not mistaken asked he was like how if if the penguin is so smart and so great how is it that you keep beating him is he's like and batman's literal words were because i know how to not be obsessive the penguin's obsession is me but i know how to learn from my mistakes are you kidding me hands down in my personal opinion the penguin and his oh my gosh his origin story i prefer his first origin Instead of his his second origin is okay, his new 52 origin, I don't really like that. But his first origin is he was constantly picked on as a kid. So a mental switch in his head just kind of snapped. And he's like, if I can't find, if no one can find beauty in me, well, I will find beauty in pain. In well, hold on. No. That's amazing. So you're going with the actual comic. Yes, thing. I'm going with the comic okay, book character. Fair enough. Now, let me ask you something. Are you familiar with Gotham, the TV show? I see. Now, someone told me to hop on that show. I've only seen a handful you of You didn't episodes. see... Now, I saw Penguin on though. I've seen the Penguin, Penguin on that show. Man. Yes, he's very good. He's. I've seen. I've seen him. Yes, he's I, now good. and now. I, and I remember a lot of people. We got to give shout outs. Danny DeVito played the Penguin in uh, yeah. Batman Returns. Yes. 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 That was the second one with Michael Keaton, which is yes. is really good too. Really good too. But I love. See, the thing about it is a TV show. They're gonna do like five seasons of fifteen shows, so you got so much more time to develop the character. And I didn't stay with Gotham that long, but I was really impressed with that actor and that arc of the Penguin. The Penguin's, I don't know if he really gets his due. So it's good that you give him a shout out. You know, I don't know if, you know, again, everybody always counts the Joker as the main nemesis, of course, but um, no, very, very good case. Very good case. You know, Oswald uh, Cobblepot. Uh, shout out. So you're just going pure, and that's why you're pure here. comic. Pure. I mean, total. it's like we all we don't really know the Joker's origin. The best, the closest thing we have to an origin, it used to be like a Red Hood figure. Batman chased him. He fell into a bat, a bleach, and he became a psychopath. Like, where's the depth? How how does it? He became a actual psychopath. You know, and that's just that's just me. That's my opinion. You know. Okay, that's real quick, and we're gonna get to our next set. Looks like B squared is trying to come up in here. But let me just say this very quickly. I have not seen yet. We have not seen. I have not seen the new movie. Has anybody seen the new movie yet? I have not. Not seen the new movie yet. If I have to see Thomas and Martha Wayne get gunned down one more time in the, in the alley, like <laughs> we've seen it a million times, y'all. We know if I got to see them pearls fall off her neck, 
I just, I feel like, bro, how many times y'all gonna show? She gonna, how many times she gonna die? How many times? How many times we gonna see it? Like, we got it. We know that his parents died. That see, you talk about we don't have the Joker origin. We've got Batman origin forty like times. many times like, over. Yeah. Lord, I just. But they say this movie almost three hours, so I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. Three hours? <laughs> oh my oh, god! Look at B representing this man. Got his his <laughs> got his Robin shirt on. If I'm you not know, mistaken, you know. that's that's uh, Jason Todd's Red Robin suit. If yes. I'm okay, saying. so Mrs. Ronaldo, you got to understand. You see, we have to bring the young folks in for the nerd content because oh, they gonna go. I'm not a nerd. Extra level. What you did? You just gave us the full whole penguin backstory. From that's the nerd. Comic. That's that's nerd level. So that's right. nerd. Okay, yeah. B B squared is in the building. Uh, let me change. Make sure I'm put your name right as well. Um, we're doing, of course, our favorite Batman villains. All right, you have to come up with two, and let's we'll recap speed. very quickly so you can get caught to speed. I and Mrs. Ronaldus have gone with um, Heath Ledger's Joker, which we both love. So he's made mm -hmm. it. Uh, Johnny Q has gone with the comic book Penguin. Now, that's what I'm saying. So you can pick any any villain, but you got to give us exactly which villain you're talking about. So you just can't say like just the Joker. All right. So you got to give us which one. So we got two Jokers, Heath Ledger style, one Penguin from the comic. Give us one of your favorite Batman villains. All right. One of them, I'm going to save the best one for last. One of my favorite ones is Oswald Cobblepot from Gotham. Yeah. Ooh, I, from ooh, Gotham. I just Whoa. broke that down. Okay. I just okay. broke that down. Nice. Get, go ahead and speak on it. Go ahead and speak on it. Like, he acted that role to literal perfection. Yeah. Like, down to the walk. Like, he was <laughs> penguin through and through. And he had me from the very, he had me from season one episode one until the last episode when they had him full penguined out he was like legit my favorite character so you watched the whole thing all the way through i the didn't get whole the thing. okay but see and that's what i'm talking about a tv show you're going to get so many episodes where mm -hmm. the character can develop i he would be probably that character would probably be in my top five if we were doing the top five he'd be my five, top five he just killed matter of fact let me look this kid okay if we were doing the top five i'd actually say martha wayne's joker is one of my is in my top five i loved her joker she didn't get that much limelight in the comic books but when in the in the flashpoint paradox when she became oh, yeah. joker that she she did good like she was really psychotic i love that, that movie was valid yeah it was valid Okay, so shout out. The young man's name is Robin Lord Taylor, who played Oswald Cobblepot in the Gotham series. So we got a shout out to him. Okay, so let's do it again. So let's, we'll recap very quickly for our viewers. We got two for the Heath Ledger Joker. We've got one for Oswald Cobblepot comic and one for Oswald Cobblepot from Gotham. All right, Mrs. Ronaldus, give us your second... Not say, oh, maybe it is in order, but your second villain for Batman that you love. So my second one, and y'all gonna kind of probably be surprised at this one, but my second one would be Harley Quinn. Oh, that's okay. valid. No, I give you Harley, that's Harley, that's now from Margot which, Robbie's Harley Quinn. Yeah, which Harley or Quinn? Tara Young? Uh, she did the cartoon Tara Young's Harley yeah, Quinn. Cartoon one. one. Not no cartoon, the real, the from the from the actual. Movie. So that's also Har uh, Margot yeah. Robbie. Okay. Margot yeah. Robbie. Okay. Now this is my reasoning for this. For one, and this is to go back to the my first choice. When you crazy enough to make a sane person go crazy, <laughs> you got some power. Okay. So yeah. I he was a that's psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> Marlene Quinzel was her original. He was a yes. psychiatrist. If you got power to make somebody else go full crazy <laughs> to the point where she was willing to do anything for him, so she you got power. You got a theme with yours. You you just like the crazy. Like you're you really about because you said that with he looked like the craziness is what really you you were, you were the saying. crazy. Okay. They were yes. I mean, they were on a mental level 
that none of his other characters, the other ones had, they just hated Batman. Yeah. And so they pretty much just operated out of hate. They just didn't like him. That's a good point. That's a good point. You yeah. know, because he was constantly trying to, you know, but them two, they were just crazy. <laughs> I, shout out to the writers of uh, the Suicide Squad movie. That yeah. one line between uh, Jared Leto and Margot Robbie, would you die for me? Of course. No, that's too easy. Would you live for me? That, yeah, that was a good, that that was was a good, good. line. That was a good line. Great line. Um, yeah. yeah, Margot Robbie is an ama amazing actress. We already know that. So she she did. She was, to me, the, the best part. I, I love her in that as well. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like I said, Q, you went full crazy. Give us your second choice. You went with Oswald Cobblepot from the comic. Give us your second one. I got to go straight back to the comic, man. Bane? Love his. I knew that's what you love me. I that that is a the only reason why he ever became like a villain for a Batman. He was uh, going to be a villain anyways, but the only reason he became a Batman villain was just because he saw that Batman was putting fear into the um, heart of Gotham. And his comic book origin was he literally had to overcome his fear because he was born in jail and his father died, and they literally decided to make um, the child live out the rest of his father's life sentence, which makes no sense. I've never heard of that. It was a rough place, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he got he literally got his name because one of the wardens, because Bane became super jacked, super crazy, because he got into a coma and saw a vision of his future self and became insane, was killing most of the prisoners. And one of the guards said, he's the Bane to all holy things. And that's where his comic book name, from. I don't really appreciate it. That's how he got his name, but whatever. <laughs> Bane, he's extremely intelligent, learned, knows 10 languages, has mastered the art, of a, the art of escaping. I mean, he doesn't even need the venom anymore. I mean, he used it for a while. He realized that it was killing his head, but he doesn't even need it. This man has a very high tolerance for durability. I oh, love Bane. And he's super, like, I don't want to say emotional, but sentimental. Once he's told Batman, he was like, I broke the back once, but this time I'm breaking the man because he found out who Batman was within a year's time before anybody else could. The fact that he was the first character to find out who Batman was, mm -hmm. Bane, Bane is my choice, absolutely. Okay, now, comic book Bane, Bane is not one of my choices, but I gotta tell you guys this. I will never forget, I think it was a 7-Eleven. Now this, I'm dating myself, but y'all gotta understand something. They used to put the comics, you could go to 7-Eleven, they had them like magazines. You just picked it, we would look for it. And when I saw, this as the comic where he has got Batman. I remember like, I was like, what is happening right now? Like, cause again, y'all, I know young people, wasn't no internet, wasn't no spoilers. You just had to wait for the mug to come out to the next week. And I didn't even want to, talk. I was like, yo, is that Batman? He got Batman? I was like, what? I, I was just done. I couldn't believe it. I said, yo, this dude is really breaking Batman in half. Like it was just, for us, it was unheard of something like that to be happening. I mean, Shattered Batman his back and put him in a coma. Right, like Batman that took a licking, but not like that. And so now, <laughs> so I'm giving that special. It's not on the list, but I'm giving that special because that's a very good pick. Okay, uh, B Square, give us your other Batman villain. It's it's a no brainer. You, you see what I'm wearing tonight. Oh my dude, no, that is what I'm wearing. Oh man, that's an anti hero. Jason the Red Hood, okay? Oh Specifically the one from one of my all-time favorite DCEU movies, Batman Under the Red Hood, okay? Now, this guy- Shout out to that movie. Uh, that's yes. movie. Love that. This guy is the real deal, okay? He had the whole backstory of him being tortured by the Joker. Batman couldn't reach him in, in time, and the Joker killed him, blew him up. Then he came back through the Lazarus pit, just to kill Batman. And that was his sole mission. He knew Batman, he knew his tactics, he knew the Batcave, he knew his suits, and then he just went straight for him. No, he remember, he didn't go straight for him until he found out that the Joker was still alive. And that's, that's what true. made him upset. That's what made him upset. And he, he took over the criminal underworld in like one night. Yeah. In like one night. Like this dude is legit. He's I mean, one of the best. Me, I didn't know that. I didn't even know all this. Okay. All right. Wow. Red Hood is serious business. He the He's reason serious. why he became the Red Hood is because the Joker, before he became the Joker, was the Red Hood. He literally had a personal vendetta right. against the Joker and Batman. Well, I mean, I I'll tell you what, I knew a little of the I didn't know his whole story, you know. And Man, his whole I know story um, is crazy. 
I, I, I'm trying to see if I if I bring it up. Um, because he was uh, I I mean playing I played him in video. I was like, oh, this red hood. Let me check this dude out. I played him in video games and all this stuff. I was like, okay, all right, you know. But I didn't think he was. I didn't know he was all that. You gave me some insight right there. Again, that's why we have the nerds on as well. They go deep into the into the canon of it as well. We appreciate that. You can roll your eyes all you want, Johnny Q. Right, just own it. Now I own it. I own it. I gotta I'm give my second. I mean, yeah. I mean, B squared. You dressed in it. I mean, come on now. Come on. I gotta give my second one now. I stand by this. It's just something again because I don't want y'all to think I'm not, you know, a son of the comic books. I am, but I have to go the live action, and I ha I, I have to go with the live action Bane. I have to go Tom Hardy because let me. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's the boys. There's the opening scene is great. The plane scene, you know what I mean? I mean, he's diabolical. He is. Without, but understand something. That's now I now, and I gave y'all the comic book to see the comic book and all that. But I remember when they when I heard about Bane being played live action, I'm like, man, they better come with it. I to see a live action whooping like that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that I just crazy. and That's here's crazy. the thing about it. When I watched the movie, when you know when Catwoman takes him into that little place. And when the gates come down, I remember, I was like, oh, Lord. I was like, here we go. And, you know, um, and then the Batman turns and he sees Bane. He's like, Bane. And he's like, let's not stand on ceremony, Mr. Wayne. And I was like, oh, brother. And Batman is throwing every trick. He's making it dark and smoking. And Bane is disregarding all of this. And he is just pounding and pounding and at the end, he takes the mask and he just tosses the mask like it is just yes. some garbage. I said, oh, fam. A real villain right there. <laughs> That's a villain. Like, yeah. He literally put despair in my heart watching that. Like, yo, this guy. And mind you, I saw the comic. I know this happens. But he just, I mean, just the disassembling of a man. I, and, this, and my favorite part, even still, he's not even the Batman part. It's where <laughs> I, um, Ben Mendelsohn's character, I forget who it is now, but he was just like, you know, he tells us, he said, where is Bane? Bring that man in here. And he says, you know, speak of the devil. And Bane comes in and then he says, um, he says, leave us. The guy says, leave us. Or Bane tells him to leave us. He's like, no, stay here. I'm in charge. And all he does, he puts his pinky on. He says, do you feel in charge? And I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. That's, that's you know that part? He puts the pinky cool. on that. That was cool. He put his pinky on his shoulder. He's like, do you feel in charge? And I was like, bro. That's cold. This guy's cold. So that's my pick. So let's recap very quickly again for the fans. Um, Mrs. Rinaldis, uh, two good picks. She went. She went. Oh, yeah. Ledger, Joker, and Harley Quinn, um, uh, was played by Michael Robbie. Johnny Q, uh, of course, you went. Oswald Cobble Pop from the comics and Bane from the, I mean, these are all good picks. You can't really go wrong. And Bane. Right. Um, B squared goes Red Hood, which is a good, good pool there. And Oswald Cobble Pop from Gotham, which I loved. Man, y'all gotta check pool. out Gotham. I give him that, yeah. Check out Gotham. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's really worth it. It's the young Bruce Wayne. And of course, I went um, live action as well with Bane and shout out with Heath Ledger. Guys, these are so okay. Very quickly, very quickly. Do we? What do we expect now from the Riddler? See, for these movies, I'm big about the villain. Like we know the heroes, so the villain is big. And so this is the Riddler, Paul Dano. I will start with Mrs. Rinaldis. What are you expecting from the Riddler? Well, one, I want to see Batman get whooped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you, you, oh, you think it's going to come down? Okay. I think it's going to come down. If he doesn't get what he's going to be hurt. So unless somehow he's okay. At the, he's going he's gonna to take a licking. Okay, okay. Because they one thing about it, they always make sure that they show that he is human. He's just a man. He he's a man. human. He has no superpowers. It's true. So in all his movies, they always make sure he's portrayed as just a man. Okay, that's that's fair because this is the new Batman we have. This is Robert mm -hmm. Pattinson, so we're gonna have to see some kind of vulnerability. Good point. Uh, B squared. What are you expecting from Paul Dano's Riddler? All right. So from the trailer so far, 
okay, here's my inner nerd coming out again, from playing the Batman Arkham game series. <laughs> it's reminding me of like that darker version of the Riddler with the riddles that like are just like, and the way they put it in the trailer, I feel like it's going to be a darker form of the Riddler, not as witty or as funny, but I think he's going to do a good job at it. I, I feel like it's going to be good. Okay. All right. Johnny Q. Uh, you know, I have nothing against Paul, but the reason why I'll say specifically, I, the reason why I didn't put the Riddler on my list is because in my opinion, he doesn't have the best like comic book story. So I, I'm just glad last time we saw the Riddler was with Jim Carrey. Nothing against Jim Carrey, but that was, <laughs> that was not weird good. writing. That was, that was so I'm I'm definitely interested to see what Paul does with the character. I want them to like B said, I kind of want a darker version of the Riddler because he was I don't want to say he was a joke because he's very intelligent, especially between the wars between him and Joker. But I just want to see this like, yeah, the darker side of him because he had some some dark tricks in the comic book. So I want to be able to see that, you know, come out into fruition, you know. Because I just I know it's gonna be better than what we had from Jim Carrey. Nothing against Jim Carrey, though, nothing against him. Well, okay, again, I see you're not on Gotham. In Gotham, yes, there is a, a Riddler in Gotham who I again I liked him as well. Not as Riddler in Gotham. didn't blow me away as much as the Riddler, but he was a good, good character. Uh, Very good you know, character. Ever, you know, Enigma. So for me, I I, I just I want to make sure I just want him to own his scenes. Like I really I don't want to like you know, like when I would see on screen Keith Ledger, he just owned it. He just owned it, he just took up all the space in the room. Bane, he just, his presence. So I hope the Riddler, however they want him to be, if it's physicality, if he uses the, the tricks, the jokes, I do agree with Mr. Vinales. I do want to see Batman in a vulnerable state, but I just want, I want him to own it. Like really make me just go deep. Like, okay, this is a villain I'm looking at here. So, um, and Paul Dano, you know, he, he, he's a weird guy. He plays some weird characters. So <laughs> Listen, we I don't uh, think guys, I against him. I no, no, him. yeah. We're going to see, because uh, we talked about this a couple episodes ago. A lot of times when we doubt the characters, they on movies, they kind of, you know, everybody's like, Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man, what? Yeah, you know, hey, that's, that, he's doubting him. <laughs> what is Robert Downey? I was like, what? This dude going to play? And uh, it's a couple times where they, even with Christian Bale as Batman, I was like, Christian Bale. Yeah, that was I definitely was question. That was kind of a and they surprised us, you know. Do so, you think that Penguin's gonna get his own little side segue? Well, and I don't know because we might see some a more. Who knows what's gonna pop up in this mug, you know? Carmine Falcone. We could see Falcon. We could yeah. see Falcone. We could see. I mean, it, it, we just read like I, well, you wasn't just here, B Square. We read like eighteen different Bat villains has been. You know, who knows who could pop up in here? We got no idea. But. So for the nerds then, let me ask you, would you guys consider Superman as one of Batman's villains? Ooh. Oh, mm. Nice. Okay, wait, can I go first? No, go, go ahead. ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about that. <laughs> so like Superman's always viewed as like the annoying friend of Batman. <laughs> but like, but like, like Batman doesn't hate Superman. He hates like what he can become. So like he's just prepared at any moment to take him out at any moment. Right. So yes, I feel like he could be one of Batman's villains, one of his greatest villains if it gets to that point. I but mean, right Superman now, was about to squeeze his eyeballs out in one movie. He was. <laughs> it, it got it got a little tense. It did get a little tense. Yes, it did. And they did throw some blows in the movie before. I mean, they threw blows. Yeah. Um, Johnny Q, give us. The comic from 1986, uh, episode, volume four, <laughs> number three. What happened there? Tell us. Oh, my God. See, now that's, speaking of, I was going to say it depends on the version of, because we've gotten a lot of bad, yes. bad Superman. Very bad. In Justice Storyline, dear God, we had to Top call two. on another Batman and another Superman just to stop him. So, yeah, he could potentially be one of his greatest villains ever. I mean, we all know, like, we all, there's always the argument, Batman with a contingency plan, he always has a contingency plan. So we know he has, like, somewhere, like, a mountain full of kryptonite that he can just fly into. <laughs> but, <laughs> shoot, I think it was in the um, Injustice storyline, he actually created with um, Martin Stein gold kryptonite to take away his powers permanently, never getting them back. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if our, our Batman, the canon one, the usual Batman we have, has that contingency, but I will say... Yeah, he is definitely considered, he could be considered one of Batman's 
Interesting. Questions. That's a good question. Yeah. I, I, you know, it, it's kind of like frenemies, maybe, you know, where they just Yeah, like, there you go. Okay, we cool, but they don't don't they don't don't pop Keep nothing. Your friends off. close and your enemies even closer. <laughs> right. <laughs> there we go. I like that. I like that. All right, we're gonna wrap it up here, guys. I've enjoyed this one for sure. It is Bat Week on We Seen It. Check out all the ones. We've given you show after show. We've talked about <clears throat> the dark night. We talked about the best Batman. We talked about the best Batman movie. We're doing all this leading up to the actual movie, and we'd be excited to talk about that once we've seen it as well. Keep it locked, Mighty Sharp Network. I appreciate my panel coming on, even B Square dressing up. My goodness. Guys, you... B Square is dressing up. Do you want to do an episode on the Bat family? He, he just he made me think of that. There's a lot of Bat family characters. If it comes to it, we could. We could. Who knows? But we will end it here for that, but stay with us, stay live. We got more coming, guys. You know what to do. Always, always, always be blessed. Stay sharp. Thank you, guys.